Hey guys, this is Undercover Dude's All Away from Down Under, and today I'm going to be opening the, the rewards from the Troop Surge event. Basically, Nexon wanted more people to go and play CA, so they just gave away a ton of free shit, and I'm really, really happy for that, because that gives me more stuff to go and play around with. So, I'm just not going to worry about all this stuff. You get a Legion, holy shit, 7 day Legion. You get Ellie as well. Fuck, everything, man. You get so much good shit. You get the Golden Gun. You get a Recon Vest as well. You get a Phoenix Assault Vest. You get all these cool guns. And if you don't have enough GP, I'm pretty sure you can just go and sell these back. So you'll be making tons of cash money. But let's get into the cases. These are the really important ones. But let's start out with a Ghost High Set case that I randomly got from a game I played last night. And it got Halls of Seven Days. Actually, That's actually pretty decent, if I do say so myself. So, let's go into the gear. I've got one, two, three, four gears, and I have got one, two, three, four missed weapons. So, let's see what we go and get, and fingers crossed, fingers crossed, we go and get something decent. So, starting with the gear, we get a recon vest seven days, which is useless since I have it permanent. Then I open another one, to get the future X recon, and I'm pretty sure this is a decent one. You get plus eight speed, but that's saying that that's a really equivalent to what I've already got because that uses your head and face slots I believe so it's pretty decent so going over to the next one we've got advanced modular backpack three days that's not too bad I still prefer my normal backpack and this one future x or weather helm I haven't seen this one before Holy moly, you get a ton of stats on this one. You get a little bit less speed, but you get really good protection from flash, gas, and fire. So this would be really good for something like a just just a death room, maybe like that. Like a death room elimination. A decent, decent item. So now, let's move into the missed weapons. Starting out with the top one, we got the M24A3. Woodland, one day, loving it, loving it. Let's go with the middle one, maybe a little bit better luck for this. We get a Maxis R870 MCS mod, the most overpowered weapon in the game, one day only. But I do have some renewals if I do want to go and use that for a little bit longer. Opening up the next missed weapon, M6A3 DMI. It's all right, I suppose. Not too bad. Get a supply crate, missed weapon. We open this one. Baron's Revised M416 CQB 30 days. Now that is decent. And as you can see in the chat, everything is just getting spammed of all these really good ones. But I've had I've had a couple of runs where I get really good 90 day guns. But talking about 90 day guns, we got some we got some 90 day shit here as well. We got the JSF suit. So that's just cosmetic. But it looks pretty cool. The Storm Rider axe. I love this weapon. Very fun to go and use. The spread is really tight. Fantastic. Get a Phoenix Assault as well. So overall, it's decent. I got some EXP passes. I already went and activated those. But, you know, a pretty decent pool, I'd have to go say myself. The one days are a little bit disappointing, but at least a decent one days. I might do a review on them if you guys want me to. So post in the comment section below if you want to go and see a little bit of that. But the Baron's Advice M416 CQB, very, very, very happy about that one. And I just want to quickly just scan over how much the, uh, how much the 90 day one goes for. So that's 90 day, 71,000 GP. That's actually not too bad. And uh, overall, I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with these, uh, with these pulls saying that I didn't log into the combat arms too much over the, uh, over the event. But other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.